Okay. Now the stories. Uh, instead of going, we have moved quite a lot in detail about the Vishwadevatas. Instead of the stories, let me take you on to what they encompass. They are a very tight knit society. Okay. They hold the secret of knowledge of the universe. And they have the ability to work hard. So people who have planets in Uttarashara will have the ability to be the holder of the secret knowledge. They have the ability to work hard. They have the ability to provide splendor to man to enjoy. That is, they, you know, they will give. Uh, because these devitas, one of the main aim is to allow the humans on this planet to enjoy life. So they, if you have a planet, they, it also gives you a position, power to be able to enjoy life. They have the ability to take up challenges with remote chances of success. We saw in the case of Abraham Lincoln. Where slavery was such a dominant feature in the States. Absolutely unheard of, unthought of, not even unheard, unthought of view of abolishing slavery. He took that bleak prospect, turned it into a reality. And then became one of the most popular, one of the most loved presidents of the United States. He lost his life for that. But nevertheless, he did something that was never thought to be an achievable task. And they have the ability to excel in a team environment. So they, they make up an entire confluence of devatas, right? So they have the ability to make up, to excel in a very strong teamwork. If you, if anybody has a there, a nakshatra there, he would know how to tap in the best from everybody. And they're very ambitious. They're extremely ambitious. Okay. So uh, let's take up the case here of Marie Curie. Madame Curie, as she's known. Do you, do you know that Madame Curie, secret knowledge, Madame Curie was a person who was, who was uh, given the Nobel Prize twice? She won Nobel Prize twice. You know, I think that I don't know, I don't remember having read about any man getting that Nobel Prize. And I'm uh, not uh, saying that. Why? Because you will know that in spite of winning the Nobel Prize twice, she was not given a place in the French Academy of Science on the fact that she was a female. Okay. So this has to do something with, uh, you know, a debilitated son or something like that in her chart. Because son is the ninth lord and is debilitated in the 11th house of contacts and things like that. But her ascendant is in the nakshatra of, uh, very uh, you know, it's in this nakshatra of Uttara Ashara. And this gave her a very formidable character. Her daughter, in her entire family, they have all been scientists. I mean, her children have all been scientists with exception of a daughter. And uh, that daughter writes that uh, my mother went through a lot of hardships in life. And she died. She, if you know, she is the reason why radioactivity became a possibility where cure for cancer that we nowadays people are so easily getting. She's the reason why we've got that. She and her husband, Perry Curie. And um, her daughter writes that my mother went, to, she died because of electro, uh, uh, you know, radiation, radioactive radiations while working relentlessly. Too much of radiations. You know, you're not supposed to have too many X-rays also in one go, because it uh, it uh, it opens you up to a lot of radiations. She was working day in day out with radioactive chemicals and material elements. 
and there's long stories about how if anybody wants to read please read on the wikipedia how she managed to come up from very humble beginnings humble surroundings and how she managed to find a place for herself and even that place i mean i'm so upset about the fact that she was denied even after she was given two nobel prizes i mean look at the chauvinism in those days and age so uh, ascendant but moving ahead ascendant is place which represents the self and nakshatra lord sun is placed in the 11th house of contacts and gains achievements and accomplishments contacts see because it's debilitated that contact may not have the gains or the accomplishments were for the world to see but they were short changed by the country okay and then we have stephen hawkins his uh, rodent trading for his data is x so i will just take it that mercury is in the right spot and the ascendant we may not take the ascendant as for what it is we will just take that mercury here is placed in uttarashara nakshatra now mercury represents your nerves mercury is also your speech because it's also your talking power it's your writing power he has he had a strong deb debilitating disease to the extent that it debilitated his nerves to an extent that he had no control only by a twitching of his cheek there was a machine implanted right there he was able to convey what he what he had to he was absolutely leading a um, no motor control existence but he was one of the sharpest brains of his time the most brilliant brain of his time recently he's passed away his work with con was concerned with cosmology in a variety of aspects the big bang theory of the black holes everything and he, again she see the vishwadev thus we see they come from a very stellar family very very strong family he also has his parents both his parents were uh, highly educated you know and we are talking about somewhere around uh, 19 9, 1910 1920 s very educated both even his mother was a highly educated lady and uh, mercury is is also the sixth house of disease and product so you see he had the secret knowledge he had an access to the knowledge of black holes and origins and everything and at the same time it was his prarabdh if i do not take this lagna and i take up the natural zodiac mercury bring the sixth lord is also the house of disease it is also the house of prarabdh so it was probably for him to be this diseased and to be this facing this debilitation and get he managed to be victorious in what he was yeah and there's a perfect synchronous behavior in this chart if you see I don't know why it's equal. Uh, so if you see here, the ascendant lord, fifth lord, ninth lord, there's some way they are having some link. I mean, the fifth ascendant and the lord, first are combined, and the ninth lord is aspecting. So this is a very yeah. big uh, factor which shows that the person is totally in harmony with the planet. With yes, yes. And regarding that deformity which he has in body or in his face, there externally. Uh, recently, yeah. Christy Larson had said regarding this. I mean, not for this chart, but he had said that if Mercury, Venus are affected together in somebody's chart, I mean, then that's called Brahma dosh. You might feel that Brahma has created him perfectly. So he has okay. certain afflicts both of them. So maybe because of that, this can happen externally. It's a retrograde Saturn, so that did not see a retrograde planet. Will uh, had it been a direct Saturn, it would have been a much more uh, debilitating, or it would not have allowed him to do any work at all. But this is a retrograde Saturn, so it does not go beyond. It did go very vast, but allowed him nevertheless to do good in his job. So retrograde planets are definitely not bad. as per what my research says and even what um, one of the people i know who's very good uh, you know with uh, retrograde planets is uh, now i just took his interview on my channel uh, the other day um, james bra okay. he is very very good about retrograde planets and he even says that retrograde planets if they are 
if they have a bad aspect then it's good that their aspect is confining ah uh, okay okay so now let us move on to uh, the few examples i'll just take one or two examples so that i can move ahead on uh, you know other topics um goodness and stability of the vishwadevtas because then i need to uh, you know take up ganesha also this is a german humanitarian that is albert schwetzer he is a german humanitarian philosopher physician musician clergyman missionary and writer who was brilliant in every field that he took up you know go and read on wikipedia about him and you will be amazed that no matter what he took up he excelled in it okay and he he was one of those people who said that christ is living within us christ is not about just a religion it is about as christ said it was about humility and compassion and the love for the being and he is said to be the world's greatest living non political person at, of his time he gave reverence to life over any dictum you know when you are, you say that this person is not worth it or that he said no every bit of life be it you know be it human or be it an animal or insect every bit of life deserves reverence and everything that he did was so much compassionate with so much love with so much of all the 10 qualities that we've seen of the vishwadevtas that he had no other business but to excel in whatever he did yeah he was a physician a ace musician he was a missionary with an aim every bit and he was a good husband also everything that he did he did it with a with you know with a lot of compassion love and truth all those ten qualities now see we see here mercury again it's a dd so dirty data so i have just do i taken it up i again say it's a dirty data so we will not take the lagna let's just take uh, the natural zodiac because there are many a times when you when i do analysis i also take into account the natural zodiac so if i take the natural zodiac into account you will see that in the 10th house of the natural zodiac is sitting mercury and sun mercury is the third lord of subconscious mind mercury is the third lord of creativity also and sun is the fifth lord of creativity sun is the fifth lord of the mind sun is also the fifth lord of mantras it is your it's your power it's your position it's everything there you can take my analysis with this chart also but if you take it with the natural zodiac you will see and it's right there in the 10th house of profession 10th house is also called the house of zenith that is the topmost part so whatever he did he excelled and let us also remember this is the time when the sun moves into the uttarayana so this is the time when you showcase all that you have learned in any life okay so gave giving him a huge amount of ability to showcase and buddha aditya yoga is being formed okay they say if you look at the degrees you will see they very close together mercury is combust here but combustion of mercury is because mercury is always close to sun so most of the time it might appear to be combust so the combustion of of mercury does not hold much value most of the time here sun gets that powers and is able to work it out very much and being the lagna lord if you take this chart or being the sixth lord of service if you take the natural chart you will know if you read his data on wikipedia that he was a selfless worker he did everything to please others as a result he got back that pleasure in abundance so uh, deep traditional values is another thing that this nakshatra is associated with influential family a lot of things but we do not have the time for you know covering up that i do it in my class i take up around 4 3 to 4 hours for every nakshatra to cover up uh, i'll take the opportunity here uh, baba ji to say two things 
first and foremost is that i have a course coming up on nakshatras on the 20, from the 23rd of june and uh, we will just be covering in 3 months the first nine nakshatras just the nine nakshatras in detail in depth okay with a lot with a lot of other things but uh, like gandhanta and its uh, results and things like that but basically the nakshatras and the uh, nine nakshatras and there is a free book that is going to be available on my website pretty soon about the series on nakshatra that i you know run so uh, anybody interested in a week's time it would definitely be available on my uh, website for anybody to download so uh, we have this deity again is ganesha one of the deities as i said again is ganesha so ganesha's story most people know they he has lost his head he was born as a human or he was sculpted as a human by his mother parvati and uh, but he lost his head in a fight with his own father and as a result he was given another head and uh, which proved to be much more beneficial because after getting the head of the elephant what he actually also got was becoming the lord of all the ganas or the or the devotees he is also the vignaharta ganesha is also known as the vignaharta so if you worship ganesh he is the one who removes the obstacles in your path so in this nakshatra when you start something automatically you have the blessings of lord ganesha so the obstacles of your path are generally very much removed so for those who want to start morning work take up this nakshatra and say okay i'll start so lord ganesha would probably push you out of the bed right early in the morning 6 o'clock so that you can develop a good habit and just leave trust me leave a note to him that i really do want to go there's somebody i have done that many a times and you know i have such a bad dream that i have to jump out of the bed and i realize okay it's all these things and then thank the lord to god go to a party maybe then he creates a traffic jam in between <laughs> so you come back <laughs> and then i thank the lord of bookie so that was your scene for getting me up and about okay okay nice fantastic so and then you have the story of the mahabharata and how he wrote the mahabharata so we just take up a one story and we will take up uh, you know um okay we we'll take up one of the very important stories uh, or we will take up short story we will take up a st- short story ganesh reverses his parents okay um and then we'll take up one of the examples from what uh, you must have seen in the background ganesh reverses his parents and there's a very beautiful story which goes that uh, you know narada comes with a very with a fruit he says that this is a fruit that i've got and since i got only one he comes to kailash where the entire family of shiva parvati um, kartike ganesha they all sitting and enjoying uh, and they have their entire tourage around them with nandi with the singha and the peacock musa everybody and lots of rishis and ganas sitting right there it's a very harmonious scene and ganesha as usual being the food lover that he is is eating his modak okay which parvati has made for him so, and the mother is she is annapurna so she there's nobody you can cook like her so he's eating away what his mother has lovingly made like for him so narada walks in and he does his obligation and everything and he says that so this is a very celestial fruit that i have got and it has to be since it's only one it can only be given to one child whoever gets this will head your um, you know organization your paas and everything now kartike is very much uh, standing because he's the warrior god so he's very much alert and ganesha is the cute little eating away to glory god and he is but in his cuteness he is able to do so many things that 
that you know uh, very many people in all their eternity will not be able to do so you will see the person who has a child like ability or a child being able to achieve so much more effortlessly than a person who's standing tall you know when you generally have to get somebody to do something you send a child uh, that the person loves and says go and ask her to do it and she, he, the child will go and say please can you do it for me the person cannot refuse so a child has access to many situations that an adult cannot okay so uh, anyways coming back ganesha is also asked okay so he says so shiva says that how do we now lord shiva is very perplexed how do we now you cannot differentiate between your children how can you do that so he says okay what we will do now is we will keep a competition between the two of them so he says what kind of competition there is okay whoever takes the round of the universe the world in three uh, in the planet earth in three for three consecutive times and comes up first will be the one who will be given this fruit so kartike and ganesh they both agree it's okay fine so kartike then sets off on his peak off now ganesh is just has a musa now the mother if you notice will always side with the child who is not very intelligent or who is not very uh, swift who is lacking in some manner because she also wants him to move ahead in life so the parvati ji is really worried about ganesha and he is very soft he is busy eating she says ganesha go as it is he has a peacock kartik has a peacock he has a very swift way of moving around your musa with your weight will take some time he said okay ma i will do it and he continues eating so by that time kartik has finished one round and now again uh he is continuing to eat this time even shiv lord shiva is worried so he is like okay will you take a stand he said yes don't worry i will i'm going i'm going let me finish my food and he's eating and the third time when he is kartike is about to start his third round na parvati ji has had enough she says if you want don't if you didn't want to take part you should have said it right early we wouldn't have organized it we would have given the fruit to kartikes he says no that don't worry now finished my food i've been going and he just gets up coolly dusts his hand and he he folds his hand and he takes three rounds around shiva and parvati he says that for me you are my world my universe whether you give me the fruit or not is immaterial but for me you are my world you are my universe so when you say that take three rounds around the world i have already done the needful and he goes down to them and he is not doing it out of show he does it in all humility and then narada and all the ganas there are so pleased and they say yes he is done what is right and they give him the fruit when kartike comes he says okay so ganesh is already sitting here he is not even gone so they say no but he has done it and then when they come out so he ganesha is one of those gods who tell us that it is a duty of all children to uphold the values of their parents and put their parents on a pedestal so those people who have a planet in you know uttarashala will hold their parents in much more reverence than others do so uh, now let us take the case of rekha no i will take the case again of barack obama okay he is one of we know who he is most of us know who he is he is an ex president of us and has been known to be one of those leaders who has brought about huge amount of stability huge amount of stability to a very defining very uh, you know very conflict ridden uh, situations like you know there was war in iraq there was uh, then there was this uh, 911 we can never forget so he was the one who put gave uh, osama bin laden his final burial and then lot of things that he administered and he uh, 
got things right okay he maintained peace he got a much valued peace in the conflicting zone so then if you remember uh, gaddafi he also got put an end to gaddafi's regime so lot of uh, much wanted peace that in the world was brought about by his regime okay so he is a very strong personality now he has his 11th lord retrograde sitting right there in the uttarashara nakshatra he has his uh, saturn which is the lagna lord sitting right there in uttarashara nakshatra he has his head very much firmly in his place one of the inferences we can draw from that story is that he has his head very much firmly placed in that um, you know uh, what to do where to do when to do is very much there for him saturn is the uh, naksh uh, is the lord of the ascendant defining the self and second lord of family wealth career so many things so he might have had a very restrictive upbringing a very coming from very humble beginnings but he's made it good and he said to be a very unassuming kind of a person okay and jupiter is again the third lord of courage it's restricted if it is restricted that means he is not going all on on the war front he is definitely taking a step back administrating thinking up of strategies and doing the work but his head is nevertheless very much there he is cool calm collected in any situation and he does have the leadership qualities okay so this is what it comes out from the story of ganesha so what's your view about it bhava ji i've been talking for quite some time now yeah he he gave that which america needed most at that time apart from uh, going to the financial issues good or bad but that thing no you say that that ground which was needed that hmm. uh, i would give this person the best of credits i mean nobody could have given that to america i mean apart from the good and bad but it's like that base which america needed to grow again so that i would credit to this man and that's very obvious also with this nakshatra na grounding hmm. and it's also it is also a sthira nakshatra so it perfectly exemplifies this and one more thing if you notice he was the first black president <clears throat> so breaking of the glass ceilings with this nakshatra becomes very much possible achieving again achieving what is not achievable yes and there are so my- many uh, people were, I, i still remember that day when he became the president when i was seeing the tv there were so many people the black people they were crying you know? they said that yeah. this was a dream we had from you know, millions of years that some day yeah. one of us will become the president of the united states so finally that day it was actually a victory <laughs> yeah so uh, so we see that these uh, it has he has those qualities of you know even he is a very affable person if you see people who have um, this is one of my observation that people who have key planets or planets in this nakshatra definitely have a very unassuming personality they are not very uh, you know boisterous or uh, they like to keep maintain a low key about their own selves they might be high end achievers but they like to maintain a low key about themselves they are like and hanuman de- sometimes excuse they are, me they are like hanuman sometimes like in the ramayana it is said that uh, hanuman had gone and uh, got the news of sita devi and so many hercules tasks he did but yeah. said when he came back to uh, lord ram where he was there in kishkinda in that forest so then the his other monkey friends asked him oh we have heard you have done big big things you know this that then he said no i just went and i jumped and came back <laughs> yeah and exactly and he gives all the credit he says i was only able to do it because of lord ram our situation is opposite whatever we do we will boast as if we have done and <laughs> <laughs> yes we don't see the the problem with us is that if we have done something in life it is what we have done and if we have failed somewhere it is because the gods didn't give us the kind situation to you know achieve 
so that is why we don't become true devotees because the i factor the me factor is so huge within us yeah the other day i was seeing a paste a post on facebook i mean one of my friends she had shared oh how mangal is destroying lives of people and i'm like what it ma what is mars doing <laughs> <laughs> yes on this let me just tell you one thing mars is very important mars is the yeah. energy without mars we would not be able to survive yes yes can we survive without mars on this planet one we will not be able to survive two mars is that factor that and the planets none of the planets give you what you have not already you know stored it's like uh, they are unreeling a box a wool uh, you know a lot not of wool which you have tied so what you get is what you have already given it to them for store keeping it's like a report card you got 80 marks you got 60 marks so that is not telling that you failed it's just, it's just reflecting what you didn't study but yes what you have done in the past yes yes <laughs> so um now let's move on very quickly to um i think people would be interested to see rekha ji's chart <laughs> okay at least i am so, you are okay fine let him take up rekha ji's chart more than mohammad ali's chart <laughs> <laughs> okay 